Welcome guys to Instant Turner YouTube channel. Our today's topic is Absorption Chiller. In this tutorial we will discuss about Absorption Chiller. So the table of content for today's topic is the first one is what is Absorption Chiller and the second one is types of Absorption Chiller in detail and the last one is working animation of Absorption Chiller. So before starting the lecture it is requested to you to subscribe the Instant Learner YouTube channel and be the part of Instant Learner family. So let's start. The first question is what is Absorption Chiller? Absorption Chiller collect waste heat from the other process and equipment to drive the thermodynamic process that allow the waste heat to be chilled and distributed for HVAC needs. Absorption chiller do not use mechanical compressor instead of making of absorption refrigeration cycle. The range is sized from 20 to 1500 tons. According to C1S, absorption refrigeration cycle different from vapor compression refrigeration cycle. In that the compressor is replaced by an absorber, pump and generator. While the condenser expansion device and evaporator are the same. The next is how do absorption chiller operate? An absorption chiller, the generator uses a high temperature energy source, typically steam or hot water, which then flows through the tubes and boils off the refrigerant into vapor. The vapor moves to the condenser and the concentrated solution returns to the absorber. In the absorber, refrigerant vapor is absorbed by the solution and condensed into the vapor, releasing that heat it acquired in the evaporator. So next is types of absorption chillers. There are three types of absorption chillers. First one is single effect absorption chiller. Second one is double effect absorption chiller. And the third one is direct fired absorption chiller. So now we will discuss them one by one. The first is single effect absorption chiller. In a single effect chiller, the chilled water is cooled down once by refrigerant from a double tray in the evaporator and the vaporized refrigerant is then absorbed into the concentrated solution which come from the generator. The solution is then diluted as absorbed the evaporated refrigerant while it, the heating is being absorbed into the cooling water. The diluted solution in the absorber then flows to the refrigerator through the heat exchanger. The hot water heats up the diluted solution and the refrigerant becomes vaporized. We then condense and return to the refrigerant circle. The diluted absorbent can be regenerated and recycled. The second one is double effect absorption chiller. A double effect absorption chiller has the same basic component as a single effect, but it also includes an additional generator and heat exchanger and a pump. Within this kind of chiller, there are two cycles, a main cycle and an auxiliary cycle. The chilled water is cooled down twice by refrigerant from a double tray in the evaporator and the vaporized refrigerant is absorbed into the concentrated solution which is coming from the second generator. The quantity of vapor that can be absorbed in is increased by the double tray system. The concentrated solution becomes a diluted solution and the heat is absorbed into the cooling water. The diluted solution in the absorber then flows from first generator through a low temperature heat exchanger and a high temperature heat exchanger. After this, the hot water is then heat up and diluted solution and refrigerant is vaporized. The absorbent solution becomes an intermediate solution in the first generator and it flows to the second generator through the high temperature heat exchanger. Then the intermediate solution in the second generator is then heated by the hot water and more refrigerant is vaporized in the second generator. The vaporite absorbed into the solution in the auxiliary absorber becoming auxiliary distributed solution. The auxiliary distributed solution get delivered to the auxiliary generator through the auxiliary heat exchanger and the solution is heated by hot water coming from first generator and become auxiliary concentrated solution. The auxiliary concentrated solution is delivered to the auxiliary absorber through auxiliary heat exchanger. The refrigerant vapor then which are generated in the first generator and auxiliary generator are condensed in the 
condenser and then flow into the evaporator the heat is condenser the heat in the condenser is absorbed by cooling water and the last one is direct fired absorption chiller direct fired absorption chiller are more similar to the single effect chiller but the main difference is that instead of using hot water regenerate the absorbing solution the solution get heated directly by the gas flame to regenerate the solution and the refrigerant